So by now, I'm sure you'll be aware, very excitingly, that Thompson became Morella Cruises. It's all gone very, very well. And there's even more great news because from summer 2019, which is already on sale as we speak, the whole Morella fleet is going to be all inclusive. Plus, their brand new ship, Morella Explorer 2, is going to set sail on her maiden season as the first ever adult only ship. So keep watching as we tell you even more. Hello and welcome to Planet Cruise Weekly. I'm Keith and every week of course I'm joined by a different Planet Cruise expert. Today it's the wonderful Jade, fresh back from skiing in the mountains, looking revived and and kind of all rejuvenated. Yeah, it was wonderful. Yeah. Great to be back at work, of course. <laughs> we believe that. <laughs> well, hopefully you're not watching at work. Hopefully you're watching in some of your free time because today we're gonna to talk about different ways that you can really make, take advantage of that free time because the former Thompson Cruises, Morella Cruises as they're now known, um, have just announced that their latest ship, Morella Explorer 2, Due to the popularity of their adult-only sailings from Dubrovnik and the Asian itineraries in 2018, is going to be their first ever adult-only ship. Morella Explorer 2 will be tailored to meet the needs of couples, friends and groups by doubling the size of the verandas that are featured on the Morella Explorer. The new ship has over 900 cabins, of which nearly 40% have balconies. The Morello Explorer 2 is getting released in May 2019, but we wanted to let you know here early, as it's on sale now at Planet Cruise. So if you click the link above Keith's head, and uh, out of the hundreds of different cruise lines that we work with, Morella Cruises is one of our most popular and really does sell out fast. So the big news in the world of cruising, as we mentioned at the start, is that Morella Cruises are becoming fully all-inclusive from May 2019. And this decision to bring the whole fleet in line as all-inclusive will probably prove to be a wise one, as uh, we all know that across the UK we do like to have a tipple now and again, not that we're encouraging it as a necessarily a good thing all the time, but the fact that it's included and the fact that the wide range of different alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks will be in the price of your cruise it's probably going to be a real bonus for the majority of people. This means that on any Morella cruise, you can now relax on board knowing that your food, selected drinks, tips, flights and transfers are all included in the price, meaning you can just step on board without having to worry about bringing any extra cash. Some people may dread getting that last bill on the last day, but with All Inclusive, that just takes all of the worries from your shoulders. Yeah, there's nothing worse, is there, than kind of, uh, it depends what time they put it through your door on the last night. So you come back after you've had a nice couple of drinks on the last night and suddenly it peeps through under the door or you wake up in the middle of the night to go to the toilet, you see it there, you open it up and then you can't sleep for the rest of the time because you realise how much you spent. <laughs> so much nicer means you can enjoy your last day hassle-free. And one of the things I like to do when I travel is normally to upgrade to the premium all-inclusive. Yes, it is an extra 50 pounds or so, but I think it's definitely worth it. Uh, you get upgraded cocktails such as mojitos and certain champagne cocktails. Uh, you get all the drinks normally from the coffee port available from 10 a.m., which are made with premium Lavazza coffee, which is an mm. Italian brand, absolutely fantastic Arabica, Arabica beans easy to say. Um, and then you also get Bombay Sapphire, Jack Daniels, Absolute Vodka, a better choice of whiskies, brandies and cognacs. And one thing you'll need the next day, cans of soft drink and 1.5 litre bottles of water per day. So when you are trying to rehydrate, then it's a, it's a really good thing to have the water, particularly if you're going off on tour. For the first time, Morello have announced that they will have a ship based in Naples. The vibrant Italian city will become the new home port for the Morella Explorer 2 and will offer four new itineraries, giving guests the chance to explore an array of cultural cities from Italy's Livorno for Florence and Pisa to Athens and Split in Croatia. Now, Naples being the home port is fantastic for cruise and stay holiday options, which of course we can sort out for you at Planet Cruise. It will allow you to soak in the Mediterranean sun while engrossing yourself in Italian history and heritage. One of the key sites here, of course, is Pompeii, which still holds the remains from when uh, the still active volcano erupted, destroying the town. Uh, it's an incredible experience to go and go and walk around and, and really literally breathe in that sense of history that's been caught in, in, in time by the volcanic ash. It's quite incredible. Um, and in fact, we visited there recently and we've got a video to show you. So click the link if you would like to see the video there about Pompeii. 
Now, funnily enough, even the name Naples has a lot of history to it. It derives itself from the Greek word Neopolis, meaning new city. And the bustling metropolis uh, is the heart of what's known as the Campania region and the birthplace of both pizza and classic Italian espresso. So it's great if you want to really experience a lot of the cultural symbols for which Italy has become famous for over the past few centuries. Other great things that you could do while you're in Naples as well, depending on how long you've got, you've got the island of Capri, uh, you get a ferry from Naples right over there. Very often when the cruise ships come in and out, you get a chance to have a look along the coastline, but you actually go onto the island itself and explore it. Fantastic. And of course you've got the Amalfi Coast, um, so you can head up there and really breathe in the smell of lemon and orange blossoms. Hiring a car to do that is probably the most romantic way, the most romantic road trip you'll do. Now, food and drink with Morella 2 is going to be quite interesting. There's going to be an array of dining and bar options, similar to the sister ship Morella Explorer, uh, which launches in May this year. Morella Explorer 2 will be offering highlights, including Corolla, the Snack Shack, and Surf and Turf. The new ship will also feature recognised bars, including Aperitif and Squid and Anchor. Here's a brief preview of some of our favourite restaurants coming onto the Morella Explorer 2. The Snack Shack is a fun and informal snack bar themed around British beach huts with seating at one of a row of colourful booths or around picnic style tables. They offer a range of healthy grab and go items so that will include things such as Greek salads, falafel wraps and fresh fruit pots which are available to, from the fridge and ideal for stashing for packed lunches on excursions. Then at the other end, you've got the hot buffet of hot dogs, burgers, and of course, fish and chips. Uh, even breakfast items, which you can get kind of egg and bacon butties, cheese croissants, and even muesli and fruit yogurts. Um, so anyone who wants good weather with a British appetite will definitely be up there. Now I must say, a lot of people don't find the Snack Shack until like day five or six, or even day seven of their cruise, um, because of where it's placed very often on the ships for, for Morella. So whatever you do, go and try and seek it out. Find where it is and go there because there's stuff you get there that you can't get anywhere else. Uh, Corolla. Now this is a pan-Asian menu restaurant that's been designed by Ian Pengeli, who's the man behind the popular London restaurant House of Ho. Uh, isn't included in the all-inclusive package, but trust me, once you try it, it's so good, you won't mind paying a little bit extra. Its small but regularly changing menu ranges across the entire region of Asia, picking the best dish dishes from each. Starters might include chilli salt squid, honey glazed spare ribs and duck and watermelon salad, one of their signature starters and we thought a real standout dish. Mains include the likes of Thai green salmon curry, vegetable stir fry noodles and shaken beef. There's also a selection of speciality curries, including chicken kashmiri, lamb madras, beef penang and prawn vindaloo, all cooked to order and as spicy as you dare. I'm salivating already. I can hear. <laughs> also on offer is a list of signature cocktails that infuse ingredients such as fiery green chilli and fresh ginger and certainly have plenty of zing. There's also a small sushi bar where guests can choose up to eight pieces of sushi roll, a sashimi or nigari, washed down with a choice of Asian beers. The Surf and Turf Steakhouse does exactly what it says on the tin. The vibe's smart, it's intimate, uh, got inviting dark wood panelling, atmospheric lighting and lots of splashes of crimson. And at the more refined end of a long list of starters are the likes of crab bisque, pan seared diver scallops which are absolutely delicious. Um, and old favourites as well, given a bit of a, a bit of a new and innovative twist. Caesar salad is prepared at the table and prawn cocktail includes crayfish. Unsurprisingly though, it's the 28 day Angus steaks that steal the show from the huge 32 ounce tomahawk ribeye, cut for sharing, but not in our cameraman's case when he had a go, to the six ounce filet mignon with lobster tail. Now if you're a big eater like Mr. Glenn Wallace, or Glenn from Matelli as he's known, then you'll want to eat every meal in the place. Now I don't know if we've mentioned this already, but Morella Explorer 2 is exclusively adult only. We haven't, have I we? don't think we've mentioned have we? that. <laughs> it's what? Say again. But I just want to paint a picture for you. <laughs> Imagine a week or two away from the stresses of daily life, no commute, no chores, no children. You won't find a splash pool, kids club or games room in sight. 
on Morella's newest ship because it's exclusively for adults. There we go. We can't stress enough. As the sun sets, you'll just be nursing a G&T, listening to the live music at Morella's first pub at sea. Come evening, the 9 to 5 will be the furthest thing from your mind. Elsewhere, sequin adorned dancers and singers take to the stage at the well-named Broadway Show Lounge, while waiters deliver drinks to your table. You don't even have to move. And of course, there's the Indigo uh, kind of nightclub stroke casino, which is another great place to hang out. Now, one thing we haven't mentioned or prop, you know, really given proper attention to is the fact that the brand new veranda is being doubled in size, this, this wonderful area, compared to the Explorer. So the Morella Explorer 2 has an absolutely massive veranda, and this is the premium sunbathing spot on board, and will feature some brand new nifty and innovative facilities. Now let's move on to Morella Explorer 2's cabins, Keith. This new ship has over 900 cabins, of which nearly 40% have balconies, which is great in itself, but also has some new cabin types on Morello Explorer 2. One of these is the Royal Suite, which features separate bedrooms, dressing room, a dining area, and a whirlpool bath. The new ship will also feature deluxe balcony cabins, boasting some of the best sea views. There's nothing like chilling out on your own balcony with one of your selected all-inclusive drinks and watching the world or the sea go by. And that's not all, because Morella Explorer 2 will also feature a luxurious Chantney Spa, which first launched on Morella uh, 2018. Very, very exciting, because it offers a variety of indulging treatments. And of course, the Chantney's name has been synonymous with health and well-being since the opening of the first bar, which was way back in 1925. A lot of people don't realise they've been around that long. And in fact, they were the UK's first true health spa. So they've got a lot of heritage, they've got a lot of tradition, um, and they do some wonderful male moisturisers as well. This is why I look so young. I'm actually 96. So we hope you enjoyed that informative episode and everything we know so far about Morella Explorer 2. Lots of big announcements, very exciting. And I'm sure all Thompson Morella Cruise fans uh, will be uh, queuing up. Oh, the phones will be ringing. You'll be busy, I'm sure, taking lots of bookings on that one, Jade. Uh, I, for one, Keith, am very excited about this new ship and uh, really excited that Morella Cruises is going all-inclusive from May 2019. I uh, hope you are too. We have got a link if you click that for more information. Yep, do click the link. And of course, get in touch and tell us what you like about Morella Cruises, uh, whether, you, whether or not you're looking forward to going on uh, the new Explorer 2, and what you think about the, the big changes that have been happening to Morella Cruises, all these new ships. We've got so much positive feedback. And I, for one, as an ex Thompson Morella Cruise employee, am uh, a thoroughly won over and a huge fan. So get commenting, get in touch. Thanks very much for watching from myself, Keith, and our lovely Jade. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Hiya, thanks for watching the video. Now don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content, like this click on the videos to the right hand side. It'll be really informative. Or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for some fantastic deals. Keep cruising.